tomorrow is the day I'm getting my was brave enough to do this. My name is Jordan, and for the last nine years, I've been living for what many might have looked like a dream. I was a real estate broker in one of the fastest growing cities of America, but for some reason could just never quite find happiness. After being diagnosed with a rare, incurable eye disease that oftentimes leads to blindness, I decided now more than ever is a time for me to follow my true dreams, which is to see the world. So I packed up my bags, packed up my home, and bought a one-way ticket across the world. During my solo travels, I rediscovered a new meaning for life and found that there was hope for me to heal my own body. I am so excited that you're joining me on this journey as I rediscover me and find that this diagnosis was the best thing that ever happened to me. The people for the um, labs are coming today and they're gonna come to my lab work to make sure that everything's good to go for surgery on Monday. So I'm about to um, read and journal and kind of get my morning started in like a peaceful way. Right on time. Could you help me with your information please? So I'm about to do my urine test. Is this okay? Uh, close please. Just close okay. Well, they just came, or someone just came to do a COVID test, my urine test and blood test. It took literally 11 minutes. Um, and it saved me a trip from to go to the hospital. So that was super convenient. Apparently, because plastic surgery is so common here, that it's a common service that like, they send everything to you. I've even heard that like the doctors sometimes will come check on you at your house. So pretty convenient. So I'm about to head to my cardiologist appointment and my pre-op appointment right now. Um, it's just down the street from where we're staying, so I think it's like a 15 minute walk. I can't believe that this is what I'm doing right now. It's sinking in. We just sat down and Ashley's coming with me. Shout out to her. So I just saw the cardiologist. He said, I have a good heart. No surprise. <laughs> now I'm about to go to my other appointment um, to do like a pre op appointment. Okay. What I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm going to do the incision, is removing that incision. Okay. But it's going to be because I need to elevate everything. And now, so we finish the surgery. So I just got done with my pre-op appointment. I am really fucking nervous. The doctor was really nice, so I feel really good about them, but oh my god, I'm really nervous. So I'm in bed. I got way too much sun today. I feel sick from the sun, and I had my pre-op appointment, and that was extremely overwhelming. So yeah, I'm just gonna like chill in bed probably for the rest of the night, and um, prepare myself emotionally for all this craziness. I have literally never been this somber in my entire life. Like, I can't even walk. I don't know what I... This is crazy. I'm about to use this stuff for my sunburn. I don't know if it's gonna work, but this stuff is heavenly and it has algae in it, so maybe that's kind of like aloe vera, I don't know. So I just got out of the shower from that amazing sunburn that I have. It's slowing me down a bit, but um, we're about to just go explore today and tomorrow, because um, I don't know how I'm gonna feel, but I think we're going to go to the uh, 
Zona Romantica area and we may go do an ice bath um but yeah we're just uh gonna be enjoying the next couple of days um before i get surgery so i haven't even showed you guys this is our airbnb that we're staying in so right when you walk in you have a big laundry room apartment tour apartment tour uh, you have a really amazing kitchen big living room area i just noticed that there's chairs right here so if you want to work from here it's nice and then the two bedrooms are pretty separate so that's kind of cool this is like the guest bed and the Mine guest messy. bath I have, like, bath everywhere. ashley's room is messy <laughs> oh shit um this is the master bath she has these shades closed for whatever reason and um but yeah, this is our Air Airbnb. It's super nice. So you get the sun rises over there. And then we're kind of in like a canal area. So you can kind of see some boats right there. And then you have the pool. So we made it to Zona Romantica. So we're picking up all this stuff for my surgery. Mexico has tons of pharmacies and they yeah, sell. Like I'm surprised how much stuff they have in such a small space. Yeah, this like is they like. They got razors, they got aloe vera gel. All of it. are on our way to this little beach side restaurant. Ashley's going to get her fish tacos and I'm going to get some juice <laughs> and because I was supposed to be juicing like really I was supposed to start juicing a couple days ago but or just juice fasting but anyways I'm going to get juice uh, and then we're going to edit here. We're having a very low-key Sunday because Tomorrow is gonna be a wild ride for me. They were like the best thing. So versatile, mashed potatoes. Yeah, you can eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Waffle fries, curly fries. Juice. We're about to get some green juice here at this place that Ashley's been coming to to get tacos. It's right on the beach, and I'm about to get a liter of green juice that has celery in it, which is gonna be good for my surgery tomorrow. Tomorrow is surgery for me. Um, then Ashley gets to just post up by herself for like the week and relax at the beach. I'm so jealous.
So it's the night before my surgery and I'm getting my implants out tomorrow. Um, I'm just trying to prepare for everything that I need to do. Um, I have, I wanted to kind of go through like what I'm doing to get ready. So I have, first of all, my Met Naturals supplements. This is like, oh, this is like an amazing CBD company. I've talked about them before. Um, I did a podcast with Scott, which is one of the uh, co-CEOs for the company, but I'm trying to get through this surgery with the least amount of painkillers as possible. Um, the doctor did tell me though that I do need to take some painkillers, at least for the first day or two, because um, if I'm in pain, it'll cause inflammation but I expressed to him that I really don't want to be taking anything that I don't need to be taking because my body is like pretty, pretty clean right now. And I don't want to like, I don't want to disrupt that. So I have all of my CBD. I have like the tinnitures. I have some oil. I have nighttime stuff and I have daytime stuff. And I lost my cream at the retreat center in Sayulita, which is really sad, but it's okay. Um, I got Metamucil, <laughs> which I guess, from what I've heard, is, is, going, is going to help me go to the bathroom because I know, and we all know, anesthesia messes up your bowel movement. So this is like a more natural version for that. Um, I got Sun Corella, which... Corella is, from what Ashley's told me, is good for detoxing heavy metals, I think. Um, so I have this. And then I got Arnica, which I thought this was like a pill version, but it's actually like a gel. Um, I really need to get a pill version, but um, yeah, this is supposed to help with swelling. So Arnica for swelling, Chlorella for heavy metals, detox, and Metamucil for going to the bathroom, and CBD for pain. I got this little sheet from the doctor. Uh, basically, they want me to come to, they want everyone, not just me, they want everyone to come to surgery um, showered, brushed teeth, uh, they want nails completely like clear, so like all nail polish, everything gone. Um, you're not allowed to wear lashes, which is okay because I don't wear lashes. Uh, but you can tell that they get a lot of, <gasps> probably a lot of like, it seems like a lot of like ratchet girls if I'm being honest. <laughs> they specify not to have mink lashes on here. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to uh, take my nail polish off, my nails and my toes. Um, I'm going to take a shower and get into some comfy clothes uh, so that I'm all ready. So I have this big t-shirt out. I have these shorts, this shirt. Um, I need to find my jacket though. What I'm wearing to surgery, shorts, a t-shirt and a zip up jacket. So I'm about to take my contacts out, and I'm gonna get in the shower and be super clean and beautiful and fresh. We're supposed to have all of our jewelry off because um, I'm assuming because I can't have anything on you. So I'm taking all my jewelry off. I've been wearing this because this was my Aunt Kelly's. Um, anytime I need to feel like strong, I always wear it. Um, I wore it when I, on my way to Thailand. I wore it um, through Vipassana retreats. I've worn it this whole trip um, because it's just a little like extra strength for me. Um, just gotta 
of the shower. I feel like that's gonna be my last shower for a while because it's gonna be hard to bathe myself. So I'm just gonna put on all of my like nighttime creams. I'm about to go to sleep. Um, I'm gonna give myself tonight to just kind of like relax. I have to be up at like 5 a.m. And yeah, so this is the last day. The last day. <laughs> oh, and also I got like my whole nightstand. This is like my love for myself. It's like my whole nightstand set up with books, journals, my stuff, my pills, and my laptop. I'm about to get ready to go to the hospital. I just meditated and I'm lighting some Palo Santo to kind of have my nerves be a little bit clearer. So. I'm taking a video of what I look like before because a lot of women have shown that they look totally different um, after they get their implants off. So we'll see. So this is what I'm wearing to the hospital. I'm wearing this zip up jacket so that it's easy to get this back on after surgery. I have everything, everything. Everything's laid out. Okay, Ashley is about to walk me to the hospital. We're gonna do this in the dark here in Mexico. <laughs> Really? Because, because yeah, because they did. We just got here to the hospital at 6 a.m. <laughs> I'm low key starting to freak out now. <laughs> Dang, I got a tan. I look black. You do look really dark. I look really dark too. <laughs> change into my gown um, and then they're gonna take like my yeah. and stuff and I'm gonna get ready to go to surgery. We finished the surgery with Jordan Hankins for the M block capsulectomy. This is the right side. This is the implant with the capsula intact. This is complete. This is the left side. Okay. This is the capsula. The implants are fine. They are memory gel. They are 375 from Allergan. And they are texturized. But there is no leaking. Everything seems fine. They just brought me my phone and they brought me tea. The doctor's been in, um, he just came in and then the nurses have checked on me several times. I was like awake after the surgery, like totally awake. I felt like I was ready to go. Um, and then I came in here and I fell back asleep for a while. And then I had a crazy, like, the first guy that came to check my blood pressure, he was like, oh, your blood pressure is low. Um, and then he was like, but it's okay. And then he left and I think that freaked me out. So I fell asleep and I had this dream that like all this crazy shit was going wrong in the hospital and like they were taking me somewhere different and whatever. But it was obviously just like my, my nerves from that. So that was kind of funny. Um, like, I had a dream that Ashley was here and, like, speaking Spanish to them. And they were in, like, they took me to, like, the kids' unit of the hospital. I don't know what that was about. But anyways, um, yeah, so they said I can leave here in a little bit. Um, I really appreciate that they, like, I've stayed here, like, all day. So this was really, like, comforting and stuff that they were, like, checking everything. And they didn't just, like, give me surgery and wheel me out of here. Um... So yeah, I'm about to call my family because I haven't talked to them and it's like 4 p.m. So 
I just wanted to note that like, I'm so happy that I came here to do this. Um, normally in the US, they do like general anesthesia for like breast stuff for cosmetic, cosmetic surgery. And um, here they do twilight anesthesia, which is like way less um, hard on your body. I was up and like alert and totally fine at like 10 a.m. after surgery. But um, with general anesthesia, like I was so knocked out for like the whole rest of the day and the next day after that. So I was so grateful that they like do the twilight anesthesia here. Um, and not to mention like in the U.S., when you wake up from like cosmetic breast surgery, they just send you home like as soon as you wake up. But here they keep you for like five to six hours after surgery. I've had like probably five people come and check my blood pressure. Um, they've come and checked on me. The doctor came and checked on me. Uh, he's gonna come back again and check on me before I leave. And it's just, the care here is so amazing. Um, I'm so grateful to have gotten it done here because like this hospital is like the best, like the newest and cleanest hospital I've ever seen. Um, everyone, like the, just the care is just so amazing. And I'm like, so, so grateful that I chose to get it here. I literally want to cry right now. They just like helped, they wanted me to walk around the hospital. So like they walked me and then the man like walked me outside and he said like, he didn't speak English and obviously I don't speak Spanish. So like he basically was like, the sun, the sun is good. Um, so it was just like, it made my heart so warm that I'm like, just to acknowledge that the sun is good for healing and that like that's a part of their protocol here like i literally almost started crying when he said that there's a muscle and <gasps> oh my god this is so gross Ashley just came to get me, my savior, my fearless warrior. <laughs> so they have a pharmacy right down here um, below the hospital. So we're getting my stuff. Indications for liquid control and drinker. Did you have used this before? <laughs> so Ashley's about to get my implants out. They're in like a, like a bag. So it looks white bags? Yeah. Are they in there? Oh my gosh, they're yellow? I guess so. Are they, that's silicone, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah saline are those big bags that have lines in them. So today is day, today's the day after I got my implants taken out. Day one, technically, without my implants. I got the explant yesterday. Um, I feel great, surprisingly. <laughs> um, I felt really like good yesterday. Last night I had a little bit of like pain. Um, it really just kind of felt like burning in my chest area. But other than that, that was about it. Um, I started to feel like the anesthesia was wearing off early this morning because I was got really hot and I was shaky. Um, but I also hadn't eaten since Sunday. So I woke up this morning and made myself a big bowl of fruit. And yeah, I feel good after that. Ashley's about to go get me some juices. We have our juice guy delivering tomorrow. I'm looking at all of my antibiotics that I got that I spent like a whole bunch of money on that I really don't even know if I'll need. But I'm gonna take Arnica and I'm gonna take the Metamucil and I'm gonna take the antibiotic for sure right now um, because I'm just not in a lot of pain and I don't really wanna take like, I don't really wanna take stuff that I don't need. Um, I will say that my implants were over my muscle and I also did not get a lift. So I have read that people that get implant or get explants over the muscle, it's a lot easier recovery and I didn't get a lift. So there wasn't all this extra cutting either. So I'm just super grateful that I feel as good as I do. Um, but I'm still gonna just like recover and chill for the next like several days. So this is Arnica for swelling.
And then I'm gonna take Metamucil for going to the bathroom. And I'm also taking my CBD from Met Naturals. I've been taking this like since I got back from the hospital. So this is like my, it's my little area. I had built myself like a little like area. There's a pillow over there to kind of block myself in. I have all of my happiness stuff over here just so I don't have to go very far. Um, yeah, and I have like my herbs and all that fun stuff, so. I'm feeling great, honestly. Um, I do have some discomfort, but like I'm not in terrible amounts of pain or anything. So I'm just gonna be spending like the next couple days in bed, relaxing. I have a lot of content to, to, um, edit. I have a lot of content to edit, so I'm going to get that done. And, um, in a couple of days, I guess I'm going to like take off this bra and like see what's going on down here. So, but overall, regardless what they look like, like I'm very, very happy that I did this and I'm happy that I was brave enough to do this. I, I had, like, I didn't really think about it, but I had, like, a couple of people just kind of, like, remind me, like, that I need to be proud of myself and that this was, like, a really big deal. And um, I just didn't really, like, think about it like that. I just, like, always felt like, oh, I just, I want to do that. But um, I do want to, I do need to acknowledge within myself that this, like, is something to be proud of. I decided to... Um, basically remove all attachments to what I felt like I should look like or felt like what I thought people wanted me to look like. Um, and I just prioritized my physical and spiritual health. Um, I feel like for a really long time, well, ever since I got my implants, like I, I got them in a really bad headspace. I had um, was really probably doing it to impress my boyfriend at the time and um we were in a really toxic relationship and yeah and we broke up a week before I got them done and I still got them done so I was in like a really bad headspace when I got them I never really liked them I did grow to like the attention and the way that my body looked from them but honestly when I just kind of realized um I just realized back in Thailand that, um, and honestly, I was on a mushroom like experience when I realized that I just was like, you know what? I don't need these implants. I don't like these implants. They're not good for me. Um, and I just should get them out. So I'm really happy that I listened to that inner knowing that like, even though I don't have any health issues going on as far as a lot of women do with the breast implant illness, even though I don't have those issues right now, um, I do think that the disease that I have that's in my eyes is an autoimmune disease and breast implants are linked to um, creating or progressing autoimmune diseases uh, very quickly. So, so yeah, I just felt like even though I didn't have any like crazy symptoms of breast implant illness, it just like I just wanted to get them out. They're not supposed to be in my body. Uh, my body was perfect the way that it was before. And um, I just, I knew that in my soul at this point. I, I finally came to a place where I knew that and I didn't, I didn't question it. So I knew that it was time to get them taken out. So um, I will keep you guys posted as I recover. Um, I wonder if it's going to get any worse as far as pain, but so far I haven't taken any pain medication. I've just taken my Met Naturals CBD. So we shall see.